But that one looks like he's almost just looking right at me. Oh yeah. You showed me the sign that you made with uh, wolf calendars, so I take it you've been a, a fan or interested in wolves for a long time, Karen? Actually, my whole life because um, I've always enjoyed the beauty of wolves and throughout my life my home has been decorated with um, wolves on the wall, wolf figurines, people would get me wolf gifts, you know, for, for special holidays and I loved them all. And so I've always loved wolves. and. Um, I'm here now, you know, looking online and trying to find out a place where I can uh, join with groups of people that feel the same that way I do about wolves. And I discovered, you know, these two very important ones right here. And here we are protesting right here in Duluth. And there's a wolf hunt in, there has been a wolf hunt in Wisconsin as well as in Minnesota. Yeah, the, the wolf hunt in Wisconsin closed a little bit ago. I believe the total wolves uh, killed was uh, like 117. Um, obviously, Wisconsin has a lot less wolves than Minnesota. Um, but as Sandra Sign mentioned over there, you know, it's not just wolves that are killed in the wolf hunt. You know, it's other organizations that are also killing the wolves and also um, being poached and stuff like that. So she's got the real numbers over there. Uh, and the public's not told about this stuff. Uh, there's some controversy about people using dogs w uh, in the wolf hunt in Wisconsin. Did you hear about that or have an opinion about that? Actually, I just read about it yesterday and sometimes um, the agreements they come to are very hard to understand for, you know, just the normal person, but to me, I'm totally against it. I'm against trapping. Trapping should be abolished. I absolutely hate it. My dog was caught in a trap not far from my property line and luckily he was okay, but... <sighs> I've heard of other animals being caught in these traps, so trapping is my main... I absolutely hate it. And um, Tell me about what happened to your dog. Well, I have, a, I have a trail on my property. i got 20 acres out there, and I have a trail out there that we usually, you know, take a walk on. And there's one, one curve that I usually go around, and my dog disappeared, and then, did, not thinking anything, I heard yelping and went over there, and his two front paws were caught in this trap. Luckily, the trap wasn't holding real tight. And he didn't have any lasting damage, but we had to carry him back to the house, and I was, I was just so thankful that nothing major happened. How do you equate your dog being caught in a trap with a wolf or another animal being caught in a trap? It's just, the whole idea of trapping is, okay, here you have this animal smelling out food, goes in there, doesn't realize that, and the trap catches him, and they sit there for who knows how long, and then some guy with a gun comes and shoots him in the head. I mean these majestic creatures is this how we want to see them die not me and i decided you know as a private citizen i have to do something so i did join these groups and i know this is our last i know the wolf hunt in minnesota ended too and this is our last maybe rally here on this corner but it's not the last that they've heard of these groups the groups are only going to get bigger because i i mean i would like to see them put back on the uh u.s endangered species list what are solutions you find now in Poplar, Wisconsin? There's a lot of deer there in northern Wisconsin. There's also some farms and there's, you know, scattered population. How, how can people control a, over, an overgrown wolf, a, what they might call an overgrown wolf population? Well, I understand that everything, you know, breeds and there, you get more and more. And I understand the whole hunting thing. My fiancé is a hunter. He's a very ethical hunter. But... My thing is, why don't they start with um, problem wolves that are actually getting the livestock? You know, do something and get rid of them first. You know, if those are the ones that are causing the problem, that would certainly eliminate the problem wolves that are out there. I mean, I don't think things like that are even discussed. This thing here was so rushed through, and they got rid of the five-year moratorium, and, you know, the, the guys couldn't wait to start shooting wolves. And what? now, if any kind of a pelt business or something gets going, I mean, it's going to be hard. Why do you think it is people are so, we're so excited, as you say, to, to hunt wolves? I think it's a whole male testosterone thing, I'm sorry. Guys and their guns, you know what the country's like right now. Nobody wants to give up their guns and they want to get more and more and more. Guys like to shoot their guns. I mean, the wolves have been like, you know, legally obsolete to them for so long and now they're delisted. And uh, yeah, I think, I think um, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait until it started. And, uh, and I absolutely hate Scott Walker over in Wisconsin, and I was involved in that recall. So disappointed we didn't win there, but luckily we got Obama in for another term, and now we got to get rid of Ken Salazar so we can have someone in there good that's going to look out for our environment and our wildlife, and and that's how I feel about wolves. I love wolves. 
and I've always I've always loved uh, wildlife and lately just realized the protection of our environment and our wildlife is so important we have to get more and more people involved and I believe as much as I hate to say it you know Facebook you know the internet it's a whole new realm of keeping people connected and I think big things are to come and that's that's how you got connected with the Howling for Wolves and the Northwoods Wolf Alliance and absolutely now it lo- it appears to me looking at you that you're a non-native person yeah and, non-native and you're here with you know a lot of native people yeah is, is that one of the connections that you were thinking well you know one of the things that I see, especially with this I Don't Know More movement as well, which is, you know, Native, you know, at its beginnings, but the things that the Natives are looking out for are the things that I look out for. You know, they they also believe the wolf is a majestic creature and, you know, should be honored, as well as protecting our lands and waters and environment. And, you know, I try to get some results, you know, from our government and our Congress and look at the people that we got in there. They're not listening to us now. I admit this Congress is going to be a lot better, especially with more women in there. I truly believe women are going to make the difference in all these movements. I really do. And I was just listening to some on the radio, uh, public radio, and they did have um, a couple of Indians on there talking about um, how the women are the ones that are starting this whole Native I Don't Know More movement. And I'm excited about it. I mean, I'll stand out here with them no problem. I mean, I'm, I'm for what they're for right now. I really am. 